I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Braka To the 144,000 servants of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. Now, Lord willing, this is going to be a brief update. A spiritual report, a spiritual forecast concerning the main prophecy that we're looking out for us here at Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles on down, and that prophecy being the vision that our forefather, the Apostle John, saw on the Isle of Patmos over 2,000 years ago, that you read about in the book of Revelation 13 and 16, concerning what we call today the mark of the beast. Okay, and pretty much we're living in that time whereby these Edomites which are you so-called white people, beginning with your wicked elite, these different central banking families, such as the Rothschilds, they're fastly moving forward with bringing about their new world order that they're branding as the fourth industrial revolution and the Great Reset, all right? And pretty much right now, there's about to be a, a global transition from paper cash to digital money, digital currencies, okay? And what's going to happen is that we're going to start seeing more and more people adopt this implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, right now, Esau is slowly, gradually getting the people used to, you know, this digital system. And as we're going to read in this article, paying via the hand. OK, and this all aligns with Bible prophecy. OK, once again, Revelation 13 and 16, where roughly paraphrasing it says, and he calls it for all. The he being Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man. But primarily these central banking families, again, such as the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the Rockefellers, that rule this world as a shadow government. You know, it says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. That mark being this that you see here on the screen, the implantable microchip to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy, as you see here, might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's the exact time period that we're living in right now. So it's very important that you Israelites out there get an understanding of Bible prophecy, especially that prophecy, because those of our people that do go ahead and take this chip or that are part of the system by way of the implantable microchip, you're going to be destroyed according to the judgment that the Apostle John saw for those that received the implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And that's pursuant to the book of Revelation 14, 9 and 10. Okay, And that judgment is going to come during the time of World War Three, in which right now World War Three is heating up between you know, countries like Russia, America, NATO, Iran, you know, the state of Israel, Syria, okay, and this World War Three is going to be a battle fought like never before, pursuant to the book of Isaiah 9 verse 5, and what's going to happen is that World War Three is going to heat up to the point where they're going to start shooting and launching their nuclear missiles upon each other, and that's how the majority of people are going to be destroyed, okay, that take this chip, you're going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire during that time. Okay, during the time of World War Three and the day of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. So pretty much right now, our Lord has risen up prophets, i.e. the apostles, the elders, and the men of Great Millstone, and like-minded righteous Israelite men to warn you of what's to come, okay, and the prophecies at hand. Hence, Ezekiel 3, we'll start here. Ezekiel 3 and verse 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. The house of Israel once again consists of our so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, as well as our people that are scattered amongst the nations that may look like the other nations. Okay. Where the Israelites, it says, therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So this is why you see so many lessons and so many videos coming from the men of Great Millstone. And like I said, the main prophecy that we're looking out for to be fulfilled is Revelation 13 and 16 because once Revelation 13 and 16 kicks off on a global level then things are going to move extremely fast okay as Elder Apostle Tahar always says so you know this is our main focus right now but anyway 
Without rambling too much, Lord willing, you bear with me. This is an article from www.payments.com. It says, Amazon's biometric tech lets Seattle Whole food shoppers pay by hand. Okay. Now, the reason why they're doing this is because, like I said, Esau Edom, you know, through his wisdom on the left-hand side, he's pretty much getting the people used to this digital system because ultimately this is going to be the new form of payment. Okay. Paying for things by way of your implantable microchip in your hand. Okay. According to the prophecy. And this is why there's companies like this, uh, Wallet More, which I brought this out a couple months ago. Okay, if you go to my channel and you type in Wallet More, you'll find the lesson on that. But pretty much you've got um, you know, more and more companies coming out with their own different um, implantable microchips for sale. And um, you know, this is going to be the next big thing. Okay, People implanting themselves with a microchip in order to to pay for things and um, you know this is going to be the new digital wallet so to speak the implantable microchip which again is the mark of the beast um, let's read this here real quick it says world's first entirely safe implant which you can use for contactless payments at any time everywhere forget about the cash card and smart pay solutions since now you can pay directly with your hand Get your wallet more payment implant now and make a step into the future. Okay, so we'll return to this in a minute. But as you can see, you know, we're definitely living in that time, man. Revelation 13 and 16. And we're fastly approaching the hour of temptation too. And that's pursuant to Revelation 3 verse 10, where our Lord said, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation that shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Because very soon, you know, Esau is going to completely do away with your paper cash, your pound sterling, your US dollar, your Russian ruble, your Chinese yuan, which is why you're hearing all this news concerning these digital currencies, the Bitcoin, the cryptocurrencies, because pretty much Esau is ushering in his cashless society. And more than likely, there's going to be another pandemic of sort, another global catastrophe. And this is when Esau is going to make the implant microchip mandatory. Okay, Because in the event of another pandemic, let's say another C19 situation or another global catastrophe, whether it be um, an EMP attack. You know, last week I reported on how Klaus Schwab was warning of a global um, cyber attack. So let's say in that event, that's when Esau is going to fully implement this digital system. Okay, that's when you're going to have to comply or die, if you will, because Esau is going to make it impossible to survive in his new world order without an implantable microchip. Okay, and that's what's meant by Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark which is the implantable microchip. In order to pay for things at your local grocery store, you're going to have to pay by way of your hand. In order to identify yourself at, let's say, a hospital, or when you go to work, or when you go to school, you're going to have to have an implantable microchip. Okay, And that's going to be the hour of temptation. And it's in that very same time that our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that's when Yahweh Bashem is going to protect the elect, okay? That's when he's going to give us a different spirit. He's going to increase our faith, increase our spirit to resist this new world order, to resist taking that implantable microchip, okay? And that's our expectation, man. You know, pursuant to the book of Revelation 3 verse 10, again, I quote it. The Lord said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And this is why it's so imperative to do the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, and that's what we're doing, you know. Lord willing, we endure until the end. But we have hope, you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to push here. As the hopeful members of the elect of Israel, those of us that are serving Yahweh Bashem Shai in truth and in sincerity, we have hope that our Lord is going to lift up a standard in that time. All right, pursuant to the book of Isaiah 59 and verse 19. 
And you can also go to the book of Isaiah 41 verse 14, you know, where the Lord compares our people, the nation of Israel, primarily the elect of our people, beginning with the servants, the prophets, to a worm. You know, and he says that he's going to help us. So, so that's what we're banking on, you know. We're banking on Yahweh Bashmael Shai to deliver us, to help us in that time. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So, in that time, Esau's going to make it very enticing for you to be a part of, you know, his new world order by way of that implantable microchip. And these are things that we're not ignorant of, as it says in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. Lest Satan get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And as I always bring out when you go into that word devices in the Greek, you find the Greek word naima, which means an evil plot or an evil purpose. And pretty much Esau's evil plot or his evil purpose is to trap, enslave and be a god over the masses of people, primarily our people, by way of an impartial microchip. And by you taking this implant microchip, that will be you serving Esau as opposed to serving Yahweh Bashmel Shai. That would be you putting Esau up as your God instead of worshipping the Heavenly Father Yahweh through our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Okay, that would be you worshipping this beast system, okay, which will lead to your destruction again, pursuant to the book of Revelation 49 and 10. Anyway, it says here. Amazon is launching biometric technology at Whole Foods stores in Seattle that gives shoppers the ability to pay with a scan of their palms. Reuters reported on Wednesday, April 21st, which is today. So this is uh, brand new news. Okay, and this is something that's going to be happening, you know, nationwide across the country, you know, throughout the different states of America. And this is going to be a global thing. All right, you're going to start seeing people adopt uh, this form of payment. And we're going to start seeing people, um, you know, adopt this implantable microchip to pay for things. That's what this whole thing is leading up to. But there's a thing called gradualism. And that's how Esau is pretty much coming forth with this um, implantable microchip. Okay, he's doing it through gradualism and deceit. But anyway, reading on, it says the biometric technology is first rolling out at the Seattle Whole Foods near Amazon's headquarters with plans to expand to seven additional stores in the metro area. The new system, Amazon One, gives shoppers the ability to associate a credit card with their palm print. The biometric tech offers a contactless way to pay without the need to carry cash or cards for payments. So there you have it. Again, as it says in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And we're not ignorant as the hopeful members of the elect of Israel, of Esau's evil plan to bring about this new world order and this implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast, for him to be a god over the masses of people. Okay. So, uh, let's read this here again from this company, Walletmore. It says, world's first entirely safe implant, which you can use for contactless payments <laughs> at any time, everywhere. In which that's exactly what we just read over here. Okay, let's read it again. The biometric tech offers a contactless way to pay without the need to carry cash or cards for payments. So don't be surprised if you start seeing people in your local grocery stores, your local uh, Whole Foods paying for things by way of an implantable microchip. Okay, the snow, when you start seeing that, they've got the mark of the beast and they're destined for destruction. Okay, for doom. Anyway, it says, world's first entirely safe implant, which you can use for contactless payments at any time, everywhere. Forget about the cash, card and smart pay solutions. Since now you can pay directly with your hand. Get your wallet more payment implant now and make a step into the future. And this is pretty much what our forefather, the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos saw in his vision concerning the mark of the beast. Okay, Revelation 13 and 16. 
and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And that's pretty much what we're seeing take place before our eyes. So that's why I'm going to end this lesson. You know, this was just a spiritual forecast, a spiritual update concerning Bible prophecy. That prophecy being Revelation 13 and 16 concerning the mark of the beast. And this is what we're, you know, hastening to come. Okay, because once this prophecy happens on a global level, then we can look out for World War Three and the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels. Okay, and look out for salvation. So... You know, Lord willing, this was edifying unto you and we'll catch you in the next one. Shalom.